Hi everyone, I'm Brian Sakawa, and thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Ask He Spoke Style. I got an email recently from Christian who writes, I recently dropped a lot of weight and a lot of my belts are very long. What's the ideal length for a leather belt? First of all, Christian, congratulations. Losing weight is not easy and it's a huge commitment, so that's super awesome that you're able to do that. You should be extremely proud of yourself. And having long belts as a result of losing weight, not such a bad problem to have. But now that you've lost some weight, you want your belts to fit, I understand. Let's talk about the ideal belt length. So when you're wearing a leather belt, you want it to extend just a little bit past your first belt loop. And in my experience, a good rule of thumb is to buy a belt that's two inches longer than your waist size. Simple as that. The only exception to that is if you're talking about a braided leather belt. It's a great belt to wear during the summertime. And the style of those is you want, to, want it to be a little bit longer so you can tuck it in. Uh, just the style. Congratulations again, Christian, on losing weight. Losing weight can make you feel really good and feeling good translates into confidence. And confidence is one of the most important things when you're talking about style. Questions? If you guys have questions, as always, send them in brian at hespokestyle.com or send them via Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag AskHSS. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Ask He Spoke Style. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Christian? I think the perfect belt size is about like this. That's pretty much the ideal belt size. Ideal belt size. Wear it on hole number three, always. <laughs> That's, hole number three is where your pants will stay up. 